Aaron just said it comes in two sections. This is the cover. Hi guys. <laughs> Can I put this on it? Uh, sure. Last night we had our first accident on the moon pod. The cover is in the wash. The biggest issue that we have found with the super moon pod is that they do not actually sell an outer shell that is waterproof. Here is what that outdoor cover looks like. These are the waterproof covers. Wow, those stains are nice. Also, the Super Moon Pod cover still has stains in it, so this is probably where the kids ate something that was greasy. Okay, so this is what it looks like coming out of the wash, and I washed it on just a regular medium temperature. It's like a mix of hot and cold. This one I tried to spread out a little bit more. This Super Moon Pod cover that is not waterproof is easy to wash, and the water resistant covers that you can't buy in the super moon pod size you can only buy individual sacks for a hundred dollars a piece if you get a deal don't wash well so while i wait for these to dry we're going to put this back the way that it originally came I do feel like this sack, it almost does look like a pet bed. This is not waterproof, so we can't let it get next to a spill of any kind. Dad, we spent $500 on this. <laughs> It'll make more sense upstairs. <laughs> It'll never make sense, Grandpa says. Okay. That's where it's gonna go. It's gonna collect cat hair. So here we are again in the laundry room. If you're going to ask me whether or not you should get something like this, I would say if you have children or pets, it's a no. It will not survive the very first time they use it, and it's expensive. I love beanbag chairs. We've been using them for years. I invested so much in this because I thought we were going to have a couch that was just going to be perfect because it is true. These beads do actually retain their shape. They don't just sink in, so you don't have to refill these in the same way that the Big Joe has had to be. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. And the inside of this, I don't know if I even showed you this, Aaron. This lining, look at that. It just like ripped. The material seems like it's luxe, but it's not robust. It's not like some kind of a Gore-Tex. The beads do recover. Like it's not like some bean bags where it gets compressed and then never comes back. It's just not worth the money. Like it's it's, it's basically a one mistake away from being useless. We have finally decided to let go of the bean bags, and they are headed to the landfill today. 